Hey, what's up, guys? Just so you know, respect trans kids, affirm trans rights, stand with Ukraine, Black Lives Matter. We stand with these causes. Spread in your community love, peace, and happiness. Black Lives Matter. Stand with Ukraine. Trans visibility is valid. What's up, guys? So consider joining our locals. If you like the fact that we catch predators nationwide, it's not possible without you joining our locals. On locals, you get to see over 20 caches early, completely uncensored. You get to see live predator confrontations as they happen. And you get to support the movement that has an arrest in 43 different states and convictions in 24. We do travel the most and catch the sickest. It's only $7 a month. You get more early content than Rumble. We do big content dumps every single month on locals. And can't do this without you guys. Consider joining locals. This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing and educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifiable information. In other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person in interviewed in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional, or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. Oh my god. Building two, let's maybe try building one. Uh, yeah, is there a court here? Uh, we can't help, right? I can take that. We're not here on the floor. I can't help, but I have Yeah, I just gotta make sure it gets in his hands. Oh, if you guys gotta sign it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Not a problem. Any, meeny, miny, where did he go? Um, I bet she's in the bathroom. He's not outside. Yeah, if he's not out, let me go knock on the bathroom floor. We got folks here for him. Hey, Gory, are you in there? Oh, 
should reappear in, ah, hey, there you go. Oh. I'm knocking on the bathroom door. Delivery that needs to go directly to you. To me, yeah. got it. How's it going? Good, man, how are Nice you? to meet you, good, nice good, good. Um, yeah, I got, got a package for you. It's kind of personal a little bit. We should probably go this way. Um, keep it down. It's about some messages to Emily on Facebook that we probably should go over. Um, just about some online activity. Oh, yeah. Okay, we should probably go over it. I'm um, yeah. away from your coworkers. Yeah, okay. can we go there? Yeah, yeah, dude. I'm not trying to. I hey, dude. You know, I'm just limited time here, so I, you know, I try to do it at your house, but you know, I, I don't want to. You know, I didn't tell nobody what's going on. Yeah. I want to just kind of uh, if, they, if anybody comes out and asks what's going on, I'm just gonna say it's like some personal thing we're just kind of talking to you about. I'm not trying to put you on blast or anything, but obviously you know what the deal is. Okay, for sure. Um, we gonna go in the shade right here, or do well, you think they'd see it? Fine. All right. You're, you're a big ass dude. <laughs> you used to play football? Uh, no, I, they wanted me to play football. I've got. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, your son's pretty tall too. Yeah. How old is he? Uh, Sixteen. And he's like, and that's all for safety, so you can be sure we're not here to. We're making a story out of it. No, no, but we're not, we're not. Come it, on, man. I mean. Well, first of all, this isn't to put you on blast because we had, we had over a year to do that. You I mean, know and I'm mean? guilty. Sure. Like, I'm owning it. Hey, man. And like, that's why yeah. I think we could just talk to you about it. So I, I got to ask, like, obviously with Emily, you know, where that is, right? I blocked her because I knew it was, I know it was. Wrong? Yeah. Okay. How old is she? I, I don't remember. It was like 16 or something. All right. Well, I mean, obviously that's the age of consent here. So yeah, I don't think you would have... How old did she tell you she was? I honestly don't remember. It was. I thought it was something like that. Okay. I mean, I'm just being real with y'all. Sure. Sure. So so when did this kind of like stuff start, start for you, man? Like how many years ago? Or has this been something that's always been a kind of nagging thing? I think so. Okay, since like high school? Well, I've never, and I've never done anything at all. Okay. It's just been verbal. Like just all mine? Okay, so so has that always just been a curiosity though? Yeah, kinda? but it's not, I mean, it's nothing I plan on acting on. I have children. You know right, what I mean? right. I and I wouldn't want anybody talking to my kids. Like right, this. right. So, so, so when did you kind of start to notice that this was like a thing? I don't know, I'd rather not. I, mean, I don't want to go into all that, man. I, I owned it. You know what I mean. I have kids of my own. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, I need to get back to work. I mean, I, I know. Well, it's it's not about like going into it or not going into it. It's just about you obviously have something you want to get rid of, and I, do. I think I think this is the best opportunity to do it I mean, because I've been married before. You know what I mean? Right. I'm, right. I don't think any of that's right. Right. And I know it's not. Mm hmm And nothing and you know. Raised right. Like, right yeah you're just and you know look we gave you the courtesy we didn't tell your dad what was going on we didn't tell your son what was going on especially not your son what's going on nor nor are we but it's something that obviously you that you obviously you i think i could see in your eyes you would want to talk about this for a while dude talk, not, not talk about it you know not put a sign saying hey i did it's this but like and i don't know yeah. what causes it i'm just being honest okay okay i mean has it been since like high school probably okay so what did you start to notice in high school? And I know it's hard to talk about, dude, but how's the time? I, but it's not, though. I've got a job. I'm a supervisor here and everything. I mean, and I'm owning it. Mm -hmm. I mean... You know, we're not we're not here to take up, like, three hours of your time, but, like, you know, this is you know this was going to happen eventually with something. And you're probably lucky that it's us, you know? So, I mean, you know, we're, we're, not, we're not asking you to, like... We're not asking you to just completely just, you know everything up we're just asking we're, we're just curious because you're, you're obviously somebody that we can talk to about this because you know there's some people online that don't deserve a talk there's some people online that i can just see these messages and i can just think ah i don't even want to waste my time on them they're just so evil but like you 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 have demons man you're fighting them every day i can tell so what 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 was it man that started it truly i don't i don't know i don't have an answer for you okay I mean, I've been completely transparent with y'all from the jump, and I'm mm -hmm. still remaining the same. Mm -hmm. So, how long ago did it start online, though? Like since high school, still, or no? How how recent was it? Not not long. I mean, within the last year. Within the last year, okay. So what? Instagram, uh, Facebook, 
and Telegram. Okay. Do you still have Telegram? I don't use it. Okay. Why, why is that? What? Why, why don't you use Telegram as much? I just don't. Okay. Is it like bad or? I mean, I don't. Okay. So what, do you have like Wicker or Signal or anything? No. No. I don't even know what that is. Okay. Got it. I mean, all my coworkers are fixing to get off and I'm a supervisor here, so. They get off at five? Yeah. Okay. So, so, so it's about like a, in the past years that when these like younger profiles started to message you and all that stuff. Okay. Were, were this on Telegram, Facebook, and Insta, or was it kind of one of those, two of those? Mostly Facebook. Mostly Facebook. Was it on the other two then? No. Okay. I I appreciate you having this talk with us, bro. Truly. So, so, so what was it? Was it like teen groups, that type of stuff? Okay. So obviously, you know, I think Facebook's terrible in general. And I don't think you'd be here if, we, if it wasn't for Facebook. I'll just put that out there. But what prompted kind of you to search up teen groups? Because teen groups don't find you. You find teen groups. Like, that, that, that's a fact. I, I don't know. You don't know? I told you I was thinking something off of here. I mean, and I have kids of my own. I know what's wrong. I've never acted on any of this. I okay. mean... So you think you were just kind of wired this way? I think it was just an impulsive thing. An impulsive thing, okay. So how many, uh, obviously besides Emily and I think a few others we know about, how, how many do you think have talked to you this past, during this extravaganza here? I don't know. Okay. Well, obviously one versus 200 is a very big difference. So what's a ballpark number, you think? 20. 20, okay. And was Emily the youngest, or were they younger than her? I, I think she's the youngest that I know of. I mean... Okay. What I mean, where are we going with this? I'm not... I, I don't... I've got to go back to work. I mean, I honestly, I'm on the clock right now. Mm -hmm. And this could cost me my job also. Oh, I, I know it could cost you your job. And that's why we... <laughs> that's why we're not I'm talking to you about totally it. I'm transparent with y'all. I know. I know. And, that, and that's why we're not talking to you about it inside. We're talking to you about it outside. So... Obviously, I'm just going to be real with you, man, because you, you've been transparent with us. I'm going to be transparent with you. Obviously, there is no good situation here, no. but there's better and there's worse. And the better situation can slowly keep making it better. You know what I mean? You can dig. If, if I didn't think if, if I didn't think there was if I didn't think there was a way up from here, I wouldn't be talking to you. Like if I thought the end result of this was everything ruined, I wouldn't be talking to you. Okay. So what you should probably do is clock out. I can't make you, of course. It's voluntary to talk to us. But what you should probably do is clock out and just say, hey, I, it's a very personal thing i got to take care of. And we can go all the way over there in that shade, and we can talk about it away from everybody. And if any of them ask you, you can tell them some answer. And if any of them ask me, I'm not going to tell them. I'll just say, hey, man, that was a personal thing. That's what I would do in your situation, knowing me. But um, I mean, we've got a whole lot more to talk about. I, absolutely. I think so. I mean, don't you think so? I think there's a lot to unpack here. I mean, because, you know, the, 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 this little dinky message to Emily, I mean, you know that's not, <laughs> this is the tip of the iceberg. You know that, of course. So, I mean, and all the, anything picture-wise I sent was fake other than my faces. You know, those are me, mm -hmm. the face pictures. Okay. You sent some underwear pics to her, too. Yeah. Okay. They're fake. They're fake. Okay. Hmm. So, was there anybody else Emily's age that talked to you? Let's go out here. Okay. Oh, he broke. Um, let's go in the shade because uh, you're wearing all black and. I'm we're, not worried about that. Okay, that's fine. Totally fine. Yeah, yeah, no problem. How tall are you? 6'4". Yeah, same. I mean, I used to see people my height, so like... It, you, am I going to be in trouble for all this? Like, I know I'm in the wrong. Sure. Um, I mean, and I'm being transparent, and I, trust me, this is enough to make me not to ever want to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, I'm just being realistic with you. Well, do it. Like, I mean... I mean, I want to fix this. You can... I, you should be able to tell, man. I'm... Yeah. 
Look, if I, if I thought you needed trouble, I wouldn't be here trying to get you help, okay? So like, I don't think you need trouble, I just think you need some help. And <laughs> believe me, I don't think that for everybody, okay? Because I'm sure you can tell this is my first time talking to someone about this type of stuff. And I'm gonna just be straight up, I came from Oklahoma City. I, I didn't just, you know, if I was in Hot Springs, I, you know what I mean? I came from Oklahoma City to fix this. So, let me ask, was there, was there anybody else Emily's age that you talked to? Okay, are you sure? No. Nobody else. Okay. So, what was the average age that would talk to you online then? I mean, 16-year-olds, 17-year-olds, they would message to. Okay. So, Emily was, so, so, so when Emily, uh, so what did you think about messaging Emily then if that was in the average? I knew it was wrong. I mean, I knew she was younger. I mean, and she would say, like, watching Dora. I mean, come on now. Okay. I knew that was wrong. Okay. Okay, like, so, so you do remember her saying she was 11 then? Yeah. Okay, got it. So, um... No, I wasn't, I didn't remember the age. I honestly didn't store it, I mean... Okay, but you were well aware this was like, this wasn't even a 13-year-old, this was like a young girl. Okay. Wait, what? Sorry, what? You, you were well aware this was a very young girl. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I understand. I, mean, I totally get, you know, you don't have a birthday memorized. Okay. I knew it was wrong regardless. Got it. So, you, you know, um, I'm, I'm going to let you know that, the, 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 did you send any uh, uncovered fix or just no. just underwear ones? Yeah. Okay. I, I'm, I'm going to just be frank, dude. Um, Facebook is about as secure as our southern border right now. And um, it's so easy to see where the pictures get sent from. I mean... Uh, we, we've come across people who, <laughs> who like they're like a you know some old man, and they send a picture of like a ten inch, and you can just tell it's not theirs. But in, in your case, I mean, you know, all we had to do was just click right click on the picture, and it so yeah. I'm gonna ask again, was that your underwear? No, it was a saved picture that I downloaded off the internet, honestly. Okay. I mean, my junk's not that big, if I'm being honest with you. Okay. Like who's that right there? It's a co-worker, man. They're oh. all leaving. Oh, okay. I mean, okay, okay. That's what I was telling you. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, if, if they ask what's going on, I'll just cover for your ass. Don't worry. Okay. So you unsent it, then you sent it again, though. Because she asked me to. Okay. Let's see. Can I ask you something personal? Then you ask her what color underwear. She says purple. Why? And you said, I was just curious. Purple is one of my favorite colors. And you say, I wish you could come cuddle up with me. You would watch Dora. So. I knew I was wrong, man. Mm -hmm. So, so what, if, and, I, and I think we're, we can be honest enough to just use these words. What, what about her underwear is kind of like the sparked her curiosity? I just, I have a vivid imagination. I mean, okay. What were you imagining there? This purple underwear. Okay. But why on Emily? I don't. Hey, you may not know. All I'm asking is you try your best. We're, none of us are here to judge you. That's what I'm telling you, man. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you my best. Mm, your best can be a little bit better. I think you, we both know that. I was just imagining it on her. I mean, she's younger. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I know that she's younger. I know that it's wrong. So what about her being younger excited you that way? I'm single, man. I have been for a long time. I've mm -hmm. been for some years. Because I refuse to bring anybody, just anybody around my children. So you're very protective of them. Yes. Yeah, and that's as I should be. Yeah, as you should be. Like I said, I know this is wrong. I mean, I have children. Right. Right. But, um, you know, and uh, you know, I'm, not, I'm not as straight up um, with other people. I'm not as straight up with other people as I am with you because I feel like we can just talk six foot four, big guy to big guy here. Okay. So obviously you're not hitting up my grandma. I'm not going through her phone seeing your messages because you're single. So there's obviously something more than, than you being single is why you're messaging an 11 year old girl sexually. So like, you know. I, I honestly think it's a chemical imbalance. I don't know what else to. A chemical imbalance. I don't know okay. what else to justify it with. I mean, cause I know right from wrong. Yeah, you absolutely do. So I, mean, I, I can look at my girlfriend and think, oh, she has a nice ass and nice hips. And that's what I like about her. So what do you like about younger people like what, what sticks out about them to you? Like, is it uh, being able to teach? Being able to teach. Okay. And like I said, I've never acted on any of this, nor do I plan on it, because I know 
what's right and what's wrong. Okay. Did you ask Emily to I see? This is wrong. For sure. Did you ask to see a picture of Emily's uh, breasts? I think we were talking about it, and she asked if I wanted to see them, and I agreed. Okay. Did she send them to you? I don't. I don't remember. Okay. Possibly. Okay. I've gotten other nudes before in the past. I okay. mean, obviously not from a sure. kid. Well, how old were the other nudes that they've sent to you? I mean, I talk this, man. I mean, no, I, I know. I try to form regular relationships. Right, 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 right. No, I got you. Because, you know, there's some people who's like, that they only exclusively talk to people Emily's age. I know you're not like that. I'm not. Right, right, right. Like, that's the thing. Right. That's what I'm getting at. Like, that's not my norm. Right. So out of the out of the out of the twenty younger ladies under eighteen that talk to you online, give or take, did the conversation kind of always get sexual or? No. No. What percentage do you think it did? Five, ten. Five or so. You only sexual with two of them. A couple. Yeah. Uh, okay. Did it get to a point where uh, where like you are know, just kind of trading pics and stuff like that? Yeah. Not with Emily, but with others. No. No. Okay. Were they asked to? Were they asked for like you know sexy photos stuff like that? So so out of all the ones, Emily's the only one that got asked for those That's, type of photos. She was really open. Okay. I mean, or so I thought. Which okay. Is obviously not. I mean, you know, I know, like I said, man, I knew it was wrong, and mm -hmm. I knew it was wrong, and I felt guilty, and I blocked her. So, I mean, so how did the sexual conversations go with the other people that were under eighteen? I don't. I don't remember all that. I can't recall all those conversations. I mean, there was a couple, but I mean, I don't, like I said, I can't. Mm hmm. So she. I know it's wrong. I try to keep it on the back burner. I mean, I know I've been in the wrong with there. You know right, what I mean? I right. want to get rid of it. Right. Have you told anybody about this? No. Okay. I'm guilty, man. I know. I'm a grown man. I know. How do you think the response would be if you told anybody about this? I would get definitely get judged. Okay. As I should. Yeah. Well, you're lucky because you're. I mean, you're not here to judge him, are you? No. So. Yes. What all have you done with the boy? So that's the teaching thing coming in, huh? And he, she says, "Kiss nothing else." Have you done anything with a girl my age before? And you said, "No," nope, but I do love. But I love to kiss. Do you? That's honest. I've never done anything, man. Okay. This is all bull talk. Mm-hmm. So. When you ask her, would you wear some short shorts for me? What's the appeal of that? I like booty, man. Okay. Mm -hmm. But an 11 year old's booty is pretty flat, I would say. So what about that do you like? I mean, I like booty too, but like. No. That's true. That's true, I don't. You're right. Mm-hmm. I mean, and it's wrong, period. Ryan Cutie, tell me everything. Okay. So did you did you did you guys talk about kind of touching each other or or guiding her on? Yeah. Okay. And did you say that you were too when you were talking to her? Probably. Okay. So obviously, the, you said the teacher thing is kind of exciting for you. I mean, what? So what? What? What about teaching her? Exciting for you. That's wrong at that age. And that's what excites you about it? No. Okay. Well, if it does, it does. I mean, no problem, but... That's wrong. I wouldn't want anybody teaching my daughter that. Mm-hmm. So, so what about you being that teacher excited you? I don't... I'm just naturally that kind of person. I like to help people, and I, that's not the way you should be helping somebody. Okay. Try it on yours. Try it on yours. Can you say here? I would have you sit on my lap and give you kisses while you watch Dora. And you ask her, do you wear a bra? She says, no, my is small. You say, I bet they're perfect. She says, hee hee, you think? And you say, would you give me a peek? So did you, did you mean did you, did you mean a picture or in person? In a picture. Okay. I'm, I told you, man, I don't plan on acting on any of this. That's okay. When she sent me the address, I blocked her because I'm, I felt guilty, man. Right. I mean, come on now. All you have to do is join Pablo. Um, you say, oh, okay, are you still bare down there? Any hair? 
And that obviously meant her. She says, no, and you said, do you ever rub on it? Rub what? And you said, your girl parts. She said, oh, no, he, you should try it. It feels really good. You said, you just rub it gently in a little circle. And you say, since you're bored, you should try rubbing yourself. Like I told you, that's what I'm doing with the boy version. So, so I, I, over the course of this conversation, how many times do you remember rubbing your part too? That was it. I mean, I'm sure I got turned on a couple times, but that was it. That was the only time you actually rubbed it out to it? Okay. You said rubbing what? She said, well, really? And then you say, take your panties off for me. And she says, why, why are you doing that? No. You said, why not? Okay, why not? It feels good. I remember all that. It's wrong. So when, she, when you were asking her to take off your panties, what were you hoping would happen with that? She'd do it and try it. Okay. Were you hoping to maybe get a picture of that? No. No? Just, so the idea of her doing that turned you on? I guess so. Okay. And you say, I think I may have some purple boxers. I'll have to check for you. I bet you have a perfect little booty. Do you have a nice butt, baby girl? So the thing I do, and she, you say, I bet you do. I wish you could feel it. Do you think my hands would be good, would fit it good? You say, if I grab your booty with my hands, do you think it would feel good? So is that not talking about doing something in person with her? I don't plan on doing anything in person. No. I never did. That's what, like I said, man. That's why I blocked her when she gave me the address. I okay. Felt guilty. Yeah. I okay. So just the just the idea of her just talking. Just the okay. Just talking. That I shouldn't have been talking. Period. Thinking with my if I'm being honest. Sure. Sure. I mean, it's been lonely, man. I'm single. I've been single for a while, and mm -hmm. just talking. Desperation can lead to some, de lead to some desperate things. It's a terrible things. I mean. Yeah. And I know it's bad. I've owned it. I mean. So I didn't clock out or anything. Can we get through this? Well, you can clock out and come back if you want to. This is going to cost me my job. Well, I mean, like I said, I'm not in the business of telling your job what's going on, but I know. you know. Like I said, I'll explain to him. I'll cover something up. Okay. I mean, Corey, what, Corey, what would you do if, uh, I mean, what, what do you think should happen to, how old's your daughter? Thirteen. Thirteen. What, 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 what do you think should happen to someone who uh, would, would even message her like this? Like, what, what would you personally do as a father? Yeah. Say, there's, I, say there's no laws, anarchy. What would you do to that guy? Tr truly, I'm very curious. He'd be in deep. He'd be in deep. What kind of deep? It, would you put him in? Like, it'd be bad. It'd be bad. You, would you hurt him? Probably. Okay. I'm a father. I mean, we're meant to protect our children. Mm hmm. Not hurt him. So, would, would you consider. That's never my intent, even with this conversation. With no, him. I know, because it wasn't extortion or anything like that. No. And if you, if you stepped over that line, I wouldn't even be talking to you. No. But would you consider this child abuse? Yeah. Okay. You say I want to lay your head on my chest when you lay next to me. I want to give you kisses too. So, did you uh, did you uh, talk about having sex with her? Going in gently and probably, probably. Okay. You say you're welcome. I wish you could come take a shower with me. And I know that wasn't going to happen because I don't even think you showered in two months. Me either. Though. Me either. But um, I give you credit on that one. She says, "He, we can." And you say, "Would you soap me up good?" And you send a eggplant emoji. So by by soaping me up good, did you mean just kind of rub rub your? We know what the eggplant emoji is. Okay, yeah. got it. And you said I definitely let you taste it. And I'd probably end up picking you up and putting it inside you. And she she says putting what inside? And you say this, and you unsend this message inside your princess parts. It's my boy part. And she says you want to put that inside me? I'm a virgin. He he. And you said I'd be gentle. I promise. That was the boxer pig. Yep. So that wasn't yours? No. Okay. I mean, you know it really doesn't matter whose it is, I right? Know. Okay. Uh, but I, that's what I know, exactly. That's right. why I, well, I went out and right, a lot about Right, 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 right. 
So did you did you send a bigger one to kind of impress her? Of okay. So, so I mean, how many times? Uh, how many how many times have you sent uh, this boxer pick to some girl you were trying to impress online? Who knows? I mean, I, like I said, I talked to older girls too. Mm -hmm. so. Is that your default pick, the boxer one? Yeah. Okay. And you say, I don't know. And then you resent the boxer pick here. Um, say, is that what you want, baby girl? Blah, blah, blah. So, obviously, I don't need to read the rest of these. I don't need to embarrass you, man. Um, so, 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 so I got to ask, um, obviously, I mean, you know, no, nobody here is stupid. Uh, we know about Maddie, Maddie, too, who's talking to you before Emily, who was 13. So. On Instagram. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I, I know I know it wasn't a, a bunch of 16, 17 year olds and an 11 year old. I mean, I know it was pretty diverse in ages. It was a couple. Couple who, that were 13? Yeah, that's what I was saying. I, that's why I said 10%, 5, 10%. I mean. Okay. So how many how many 13 year olds do you think conversated with you online? I said maybe two or three. Two or three? I mean, okay. I don't typically talk to younger girls like this man i don't make a habit of it i know what's wrong but if it's your chemical imbalance which i think it is it's not fair that you're like this because you didn't ask no, for this no but and i know it's wrong and i mean i've never touched my kids you mm -hmm. know what i mean nor would i dare right right i mean i'm not that's not i mean do, 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 who do you live with you're just your dad yeah. okay why don't you live with your son what do you mean you don't I, live... I have custody of him you have custody oh he just lives with a uh, mom or something yeah. okay well, i mean she's primary custody parent okay who does your daughter live with her okay her mom got it so there's a couple 13 year olds i believe with uh maddie got sexual too if i'm not mistaken you remember her yeah okay so there's instagram there's telegram there's did you have snapchat i've gotten off of instagram you gotten off instagram why's that more. Okay. I knew that, that was wrong. I mean, I, yeah. man, I when I start feeling guilty, I mean, I turn and fold in the cards. Right, right, right. And I'm wrong. I mean, I know I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. I've owned it through this whole thing. Right. So obviously on Instagram, your following was a lot of uh, it was mostly younger for sure. People on your following list. Yeah. So what, when you go online and chat with somebody, what is it that you look for? So I know I know you talk to older, but I mean, if your following is mostly younger, I mean, how how did that, that start to happen? That was on Instagram. That was on I mean, Instagram. Was, like I said, within the last year or so. In the last year or so, okay. But if you if you've always had these kind of urges or this thing in the back of your mind, I mean, when when did the online curiosity start for you? Like I'm talking about looking up like this, like looking up young girls in bikinis, few all years this, ago. a few years ago. Okay. Got it. Do you watch? Okay. I bet I bet you've seen. Probably not proud of with that. No, I mean regular. Regular. Okay. Has there been a? Have you ever talked to anybody else online about this? Like another, a person who's like like an adult male about this type of stuff? No. No. Okay. So, how many teen groups on Facebook do you think you've kind of trolled in? Couple. Couple. Okay. You just kind of. Like I, I don't normally talk to younger. I mean, this is not a frequent thing for me. Mm -hmm. It's not. Well, I mean, I'd say tw I'd say twenty give or takes a pretty big number, though. Yeah. I mean, if there's a chemical imbalance happening, which I think there is, which I think that's what you need help for, because you you don't like being this way, no. man. You don't. So. But I, but I think your mind has seen some really f***ed up things, online. I do. I know you watch regular. I know that's what you search up, but my my thesis is that you've come across. I mean, is there a way to get help about this? I think so. Well, psychiatric help, basically. Probably, the first step is probably getting at, getting everything out that needs to be got out, man. Because I mean, obviously, in the end, you know, some can pay you, charge you a hundred bucks an hour, and write down some notes, or you know, make you keep coming back so she keeps getting paid, or you can help yourself first and foremost and understand what what the issue is mm -hmm. when i do 
Okay. I know that there's an issue. So have there been some things that people have sent you or you've come across online that have kind of corrupted your mind a little bit? Oh, I mean, other than typical teenage, we all got in when the internet was breaking. <laughs> right, right, right. Right. I mean, no. Okay. Has there ever been like any, uh, has there ever been any groups you got added to, like on Telegram or on Facebook that... I mean, Facebook has nudes in a lot of the private groups. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's pretty normal, but no, not oh. as far as underage and stuff. All right. No. So what, what private groups are you in with adult nudes? Uh, one's called, like, SOS or something. I don't know what the other ones are called. Mm -hmm. One of them's, like... America's Finest or something like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They drop a bunch of pics and stuff like that. Right. Right. Oh, okay, okay. I was about to, I was about to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, like, what the fuck? No, I figured, but. Okay. So, what do you do here? You just basically auction off things? Yeah, they auction off stuff for charity. All nice. The country. So, you're a charitable guy. Yeah, okay. Nice. Very empathetic guy, very understanding guy. So what happened with your $500 theft charge back then? Did you ever have a theft charge on your thing? A $500 theft charge? Yeah, like it was under $500. Under or $500? Yeah. Oh, back, man, I, I was probably 22. Okay. Was stealing from Walmart. Okay, got it, got it. In order to turn it in for a gift card to get some gas money. <laughs> okay, so it wasn't anything bad, okay. I stole over $100 in fishing lures. Got it, got it. I mean... That's all that was. Not a bad guy, man. Right. Well, it ended up coming back to you uh, 16, year, 16 years later when you got catfished. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. no, nah, that's, that's sick. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, so the, these Facebook groups, Corey, um, I, I know, I know there would be, I know there'd be some Facebook groups where something gets in there that's not exactly that people want to see or should be looking at. And because I know, I know you watch adult. Do you have an Android or? Yeah, it's very easy to see what you've been doing. I know you watch adult. But m what I'm saying is, I think your mind's been corrupted to say this to an 11 year old. Because Corey, even if there was chemical imbalance, you, you don't you don't wake up messaging someone two years younger than your daughter for to get your rocks off. It's because you've seen some. And you know, when people go to war, they don't like to talk about their experiences. Then they end up because they didn't tell anybody what happened because they have from it and, and I think it's similar I think you went to war you saw something you didn't want to see and uh, you're here and you're doing this so so there, there's Corey's there's Corey's, Corey's morbid curiosity there's blank then they're sending really sexual messages to an 11 year old what's the blank that you saw that made you do this I don't know right offhand. Okay. Uh, I mean, basically, don't, don't uh, like, I mean, I, I know it's hard to talk about, but we're, I mean, you know, I, know, I know we're on the same page. I mean, we, we, we know you've seen some dumb online that involves people at Emily's age or younger or any of that stuff. We know. I, but I don't, I mean, I can't, I don't know. You don't know? No, right offhand, no. Well, do you remember seeing it? No. No? Okay. So any of these Facebook groups, are you sure there hasn't been any of that stuff in there? Not that I'm aware. Not that I'm, I'm aware. I'm not just digging in Facebook groups all the time. Either, I know. So. I know. I mean... I mean, my point, my point is I believe that you've probably been added to some stuff that does contain stuff like this, but it's like, it's not your pictures, it's not you asking for it, it's just they're sending this crap to you. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, I may be wrong. No. No. So what did you usually see? What did you usually see on Telegram? Well, I mean, there is bad group chats on Telegram. Okay. I know there's bad group chats on Telegram. Right, right. I know, and I, and I know you. I'm so sorry you had to see some of this stuff, man. I mean, Telegram's not an app that I need to even have. I mean, it's right. When's the last time you were on? When's the last time you were on there? It's been it's been a while. Right. At least a few months. At least. Okay. So is that where the bad it was? Yeah. Okay. What was the bad? Just group chats. Okay. So before we delve into what was in the group chats, trying to sell pictures. Okay. 
But before we go into anything, were any of the pictures yours? Like, were any of the pictures stuff you had yourself? No. no? Okay. So there's other people doing it, and you were just kind of sucked into it right. in a way. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry you had to be in that, but um, the best thing you can do as a father, do this for your children. What, what's going on in these Telegram groups? Because you know there's girls your age in those Telegram groups being exploited, right? On Telegram, you know there's... You no, know, girls your age. Well, girls your daughter's yeah. age, sorry. No, nobody wants to see a girl your age naked. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're all beautiful, I promise. No, I'm just kidding, but... Um, no, but girls your daughter's age being hurt on Telegram, okay? So, so... What you, what you should do for her, do it for your daughter, do it for yourself too, so you get this off your chest, man. You, what a terrible secret to have, you know? What a terrible secret That's to have. That's not something I want. Okay, so what happened in those groups? It was just bad pictures of kids. Bad pictures of kids? I mean, they were selling pictures. Okay. I don't know who it was, some, looked like Egyptian guy, I don't know. Ah, uh, they're always like a Something. Yeah. So, so how many of these pictures, uh, so was that Hassam's channel or was it just some group title? Like he's channel. Channel, okay. So you said some bad groups. So what were the other groups? I don't know. Right offhand. I mean, okay. it was similar. Like cheese pizza this, cheese pizza that? But I don't. I mean, okay. I was in like two or three of them. Okay. So you, so you understand what the cheese pizza emoji means? Yeah. Okay. Got it. So. It's not something I want. No, I, I know. I know. affiliated with. No, them. absolutely not. You see, we're only affiliated with eating cheese pizzas, not looking at it online. <laughs> but, um, okay. Yeah. I, I, I figured there was something that made you do this. Because subconsciously. Subconsciously, that hits your mind, dude. Yeah, yeah. I've been saying it since we got out here. Okay. So, so, so the cheese pizza stuff, you know, I know people sell the picks. Do you ever buy those picks? No. Okay. So you only saw the free fans before. Okay. So you're just a loser then. You're not okay. Yeah, that's a whole other issue we can have without these. But um, okay. So the cheese pizza stuff. I mean, there's paywalled stuff. How many were not paywalled? I don't even know what that means. Okay. You have to pay for it. Is that what you're saying? Mm-hmm. They were all paywalled, as far as I know. Okay. Well, well, obviously, in these pizza groups, because you know we have the decoy accounts, right? We have the fake accounts, kind of you know ensnaring people. Sure. So we we've been in some of these groups ourselves, and you know we we were in some of them with you, I, I believe. Um, not all of them were paywalled. They, basically, basically, did they ever display nudity of these girls yeah. in there? They, okay, so, so it wasn't all. Okay, well, no. okay, so what, what, how old were these girls that were nude? Young. Okay, well, 17 is young to us, and an infant's young, young to a two-year-old. They were younger than 17, but they weren't, I don't know. If you had to guess. 11, 12, 13. 11, 12. What was happening in those pics? It was just nudes. Okay, any videos or? Probably, yeah. Probably, I mean, okay. they sent everything in those. Okay, was it just bombard bombardment? Okay. So, 11, 12, 13. You, you know, Corey, that's probably what you're okay with. You're not okay with it, but that's probably what you can stomach and feel bad about yourself about. But is limit is limited eleven year olds? No. So what were they sending in that were besides eleven year olds? Because we, we both know. But you you can It's gross. Okay, it is gross, isn't it? Did you get your rocks off of the eleven year olds? Well, sorry for asking. I mean, I know the answer already. You don't have to shake your head. We, we, we both know, but like, I, I don't. Well, I don't care about that. Do I care? Who do you think they are, Corey? Okay, they, they're like videotaping us or something. No, oh, I can go themselves. I don't care. And um, I don't know what I'm supposed to tell them about. Basically, here's what you should say. Yeah, you don't have to, of course. This is what I would say if I were you. Basically, I got caught. Just basically say, basically say this. Um, say this. You were talking to my girlfriend. You were talking to my girlfriend. I happen to be a YouTuber, and I'm putting you on blast for for trying. Okay. Yeah, basically, it's a it's a me. I'm sure you being on cheaters would be better than, you know, to catch a We're not going to make you like that, but I'm saying for them, right? You know what I mean? All right, I got you, bro. Don't even worry. So, um, yeah, that's a, that's a good excuse, I'd say. You're just a scumbag cheater, dude. That's it. Okay, so my point is doesn't doesn't give a His limit isn't 11. Yours may be. His, his is not. 
So what are the things that you've had to sadly see that were younger than 11 in those groups? I don't recall. I don't, I mean, I don't, I didn't make mental note of those ages, man. <laughs> did you, gross did, did you? Me. I mean, even younger, that's. I know it's gross to you. It's but, all wrong. I know, but there's levels to it. Exactly, I just don't like discussing it. Mm -hmm. Just being honest. Oh, we don't either. I know. But it needs to be had. So, did you ever see any like baby and toddler stuff in there? Not saying you wanted to look at it. Did you ever just come across it? Not that I remember. No. Okay. What about like six, seven, and eight? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, probably. Okay. I mean, these, these. So basically, probably. So would you say six was probably the youngest you've seen in those groups? Probably. Okay. What was happening with those six-year-olds in those it was groups? Just picks. Picks. Boys, girls, or lifting up skirts, stuff like that. I mean, okay. just showing their wear panties. Panties. Okay. Was a lot of it nudity, though? I don't, man, I don't. You do know. Was I a lot of it nudity? I didn't say that mentally in my mind is okay. what I'm saying, so I don't remember which ones were nude and which ones weren't. Okay, I mean, but some were, some weren't? Yeah. Okay. So, were there any boys in these groups, like young boys sent in there? I don't look for boys. Okay. Did you ever have a grinder account? No. Okay. So... Corey, I mean, you know, I can't even begin to imagine how many of these pics that you've had to come across on Telegram, probably in the hundreds, if not the thousands. Um, is there anything on your phone you think you need to get rid of? Telegram. I haven't uninstalled it. It's on there. Okay. I mean, obviously, I know that's bad. Okay. So basically, the thing you need to get rid of is you're still sitting in some of those groups? Yeah. Okay. Well, hold on, hold on. So... Is there anything in your gallery or hidden folder you need to get rid of? Because this is your chance, dude. This is your chance. Okay, child there? No. Corey, I don't mean a picture of a 25-year-old with I don't give a f about that. I mean, right. is there any nudity of kids in your gallery that you need to get rid of? Okay, it's just all on Telegram right now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there a, how long have you had Telegram for? A year. A year. But is, 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 has, it been, has it been before November 2021? Or, I'm sorry, no, before November 2021? Yeah. A couple of years, yeah. A couple of years, okay. And has Telegram just basically always been that type of child stuff? I think so. Okay. Got it. So, if you had a ballpark, how many groups are you, are you sitting in on Telegram right now with child? I don't know. Two or three. Two or three, okay. <sighs> God damn! Can you, can you can you go cool down the phone, dude? I can already tell. It's... You're cooling down your phone, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, basically, um, you understand the, the, these people on Telegram, the, these 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 girls being exploited, these boys. I mean, these are these are younger, half as young as your kids, man. That you've seen. And it's a rhetorical question, but yeah, you got off to. Yeah, <laughs> it's a rhetorical question, man. I, I mean, you don't you, you don't need to tell me some of this child. What am I stupid? I already know you did. But well, I guess my question about that is why'd you do it? Why why do you look at those pictures and get off to it, Corey? Lonely. Lonely. Or are you are you gonna to me in my stomach, Corey? It's also it's not loneliness. What it, what, what about it gets you? What about an eleven year old naked gets your up? Truly. I mean, they're just a kid. It's not, it shouldn't, I don't, and I don't know. Okay. I mean, I don't know what causes it. Mm -hmm. That's what I told you. I told you it was, I feel like it's a chemical imbalance. A chemical imbalance. Okay. It's something up here. So, so, so you're, 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 none of your family knows about this. Okay. Has anybody ever accused you of doing this in person before? No. No. No reason to. Right, right. How many times has uh, there been a situation on Telegram where uh, somebody directly messages you this type of stuff? Once that I know of, they messaged me trying to get me to buy pics. Okay. And I didn't. Did they ever send you any pics like that? Not nude, no. Not nude, okay. In, in these groups, did you ever uh, put anything into the group yourself of that type of stuff? No, you, just, you were just their receiver pretty much? Just browsing. Browsing. 
browsing, watching. Okay. So how, how what would happen at some of these child videos you would watch? Most of it was pigs. I mean, there were some small videos of them. Okay. And that's all that happened? Getting in Todd. Getting Todd. How long do those videos usually go? A minute. A minute. So. Okay. Who's, te who's teaching them? Okay. Well. We don't want to make this a Disney movie, Corey in the Big House, but Jesus Christ, man, you're not, you've really f***ed up over the years, haven't you? Um, well, uh, I think we should probably get ahead of this, and I'll, I think we should tell your coworkers um, kind of why I'm here. Cause they're obviously going to question you, and I think, I think you're not as good of a bull as I am, so we should probably just go talk to him right now. I can't be honest with them. I mean, I can't. You can be honest with them. I've got to be honest with them. If you want to, but why I'm honest. I mean, why can't we just tell them <laughs> what you said we were going to tell them? Well, yeah, but I'm, I'm saying let me go tell them that. Right, let's go inside. I mean, if you don't mind, let's go inside. I don't want to go inside. Okay. Why can't I just go tell them that that's why y'all were here? Well, because I think one of them might recognize me. Who? I'm a, I don't know. One of them seemed to just look at me like, I don't know. I mean, he's a pretty recognizable guy, Corey. I don't know. So we've got to elaborate on all this. Probably, probably so. So my job is done for. That's what you're telling me. You know, I came here to jeopardize my job. No, we came to your house to talk to you, but you know, we also have a job too, and you know, I got deadlines but um I'm going to jail too I don't necessarily think that man so what what you should do though is I think I need help I, I think you do need help I do I do I agree I agree with you do you have any regular pick saved Corey okay so so if you're the type to already save in general, I know you save some bullshit child stuff too. No. Are you sure about that? I, I know that gets you in trouble. <laughs> okay. Is sure nothing's auto downloaded or anything? No. I mean, I'm not totally sure nothing's auto downloaded. Okay. No. Got it. Have you ever changed that setting on Telegram to not auto download? No. Okay. Okay. Well. Great. Mm hmm. So you have a whole. Yeah. So right now, basically. So if I uninstall Telegram, will all that go with it? No. This is so every single image you've seen on Telegram of child has been saved onto your phone. Every single one. And you can't get rid of it. You can't delete it? Mm -mm. It's never gone. You can delete it from your gallery, but it's never gone from the gallery. Your phone is contaminated right now. and. How do I have to start over? Well, I think a good step, if you don't mind, I can do you a solid. Put your phone in airplane mode and turn off your Bluetooth and just kind of not shut it down, but just kind of, I don't know. How about master reset it? No. Uh-uh, that's not going to help. Because all, all, that, all that is would be, would be tampering, and it's not actually gone. Because there's a guy in Virginia who's a firefighter, he factory reset his phone before the cops came, and uh, <laughs> they still found it on there. And they slapped him with another charge. So, um, what you should, because I didn't, but I didn't tell him this though. What, what you should do is you should factory reset. No, no, sorry, not that. God, you just brought it up. You should put your phone in airplane mode and turn off the Bluetooth and just put it to sleep. Not, not turn it off, but put it to sleep. I can take care of it. Put it in Bluetooth in airplane mode? Turn off the Bluetooth, put it in airplane mode. Oh. And if I were you, absolutely don't delete anything because man, oh man, a whole copy of it's already saved. And if it doesn't match that copy, do you mind if I do that? I'll do it right in front of you. No. I don't want somebody else going through all my... I'm not going to go through it. I'm just going to put it on airplane mode. Turn off the Bluetooth and just put it to sleep. And that's it. Well, how are you going to get rid of this stuff? 
<laughs> I mean, you said you're not going to go through it. How do you get rid of it without going through it? I'm not going through it. We already have a guy in Oklahoma City that went So if I put it in airplane mode, he gets rid of all of it. Well, as far as I know, I'm not a tech nerd either. I'm, I'm just going off what he told me. Airplane. And if the Bluetooth can go off too. Bluetooth's off. All right. And uh, do you mind, uh, whose who's jersey is that? Is that a, what? Is that AP? A Viking. Viking, you're a Viking fan? Uh, we both look like Vikings. Well, if you don't mind, uh, if you don't mind, just power it down. Why am I powering my phone down? Well, do you mind if I have it? Well, what are we doing with it? Well, basically, I'm, I'm just going to hang on to it. My phone? Mm hmm Why? You want that contaminated phone on you or what? You don't have to give it to me. I'm just trying this to... This is a brand new phone. This is my oh, only means man. of contact. And my kids' pictures are on it and everything. Oh, so you do have kids' pictures on my it. My kids? I know. I'm just kidding. I was just joshing you with that one. So, it's up to you, Corey. It's, it's uh... I'm, I'm, I've, had, I've, I've known about you for... Since 2022. And... I come to do you a fat solid about everything here. So you're taking my phone? I don't have to. I'm not forcing you to give it to me. I'm just saying I, I, I wish you would, but I'm not gonna take. I'm not gonna force you to give it to me or anything. But I, I think it's probably best you do because phone's contaminated, homie. But I can't get rid of everything on it. I can delete everything. It's so factory you, reset everything. I I back up my kids' pictures. Factory reset every damn thing. And start completely over, man. Fact. Well, what did I tell you, man? Factory resetting doesn't do jack. Damn, but I'm attempting. I'm trying to do something about it to fix it without you taking my phone, man. This is all I got. All right. Well, in the meantime, much to be proud of, but my phone. You're so proud of your phone and with child. Man, that's the thing you're proud of in I'm life, Corey. Saying... I don't have much to be proud that's of it except for my, I'm phone. Proud of my phone. Okay. Why are you proud of your phone? Because I don't have much. I put most of my money into my kids. Okay. Well, Corey, man, I mean, let's let's go tell your coworkers what's going on, man. I think I think you I think you have owned up to this mistake. I might as well pack all my stuff too, cause I'm done here. Well, I mean, if that underwear pick wasn't weird, wasn't real that you sent, then you don't have much to pack. But if it was real, then you do have a lot to pack. It wasn't okay. Real. Then you don't have much to pack. We're fine. So, um, that being said. What does your dad do for work? I mean, do you work for him? He's retired. He's, he's retired. Not retired. He's on. So okay. So he's not working. All right. Are you from here? Or are you from Massachusetts? No, I'm from here. You're from here. I don't know where I get all this info. From. I don't either. I don't know what he was doing. I mean, and this is the most successful I've ever been in my life with my job, and now we're about to jeopardize it. Well, Corey, basically, it's either... Basically, Corey, it's either you give him your side of the story or I give him my side of the story. And my side of the story is... is, is a guy who's at work looking at child... And all these groups, child, little kids online. And your side of the story is someone who's who's cha was owning up to it, changes for the better. I'm all for going. And I'm all down to go for your side of the story. But one way or another, I mean, I think I'm going to go alert those people. So I can alert them with or without you, Corey. You can man up and do it. I'll go in there and tell them when they said I was talking to some kid online. And I plan on getting help for it. Let's go do it. Okay. God, it's steep. You just said door, right? The door? Okay, because if you said door, I don't want you to get a stiffy through a sweatpants. Um, 
Who are you talking about it with her? What am I supposed to say? I mean, well, hey, man, I'm just a little. I'm trying to lighten it, dude. That's it. That's all. I, I, well, I understand, but you're still young. I do appreciate you owning up to it though, man. It does take a man to do that. There's only like two of them in there. That's fine. Um, How's it going, ma'am? Carly is why? I think there's something that we should probably talk about in there, just kind of everybody here. Why? Wouldn't you, well. Who are you? We're called. Yeah. Uh, They're trying to say I was talking to a kid online, and well, trying to say that. Yeah, they put a kid's age out there, and I was talking to her. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! Do you know how long I've known him? Oh, okay, right. You're right. He didn't do it. You're right. Okay. Well, I know. I know where this is going. I know. I know where it's going. Blah blah blah. I know him. You don't know him. I, I, okay. No, I mean I'm just saying. Okay. I've literally known him since him and my sister were in the second grade. Mm. Well, unfortunately, um, he's taken part in the child trade. I know that's not true. Okay, well, I called it. it it's, it's true because he, he has. How, do you have proof? Yes. And can you show me that proof? Well, I don't want any of us getting in trouble for showing that proof, but it's more like basically... Has he seen the proof? Well, yeah, he's he's the one doing it. <laughs> but that's your word against his word. Well, if it's him telling me he did, then me saying to you that he did. That's Corey, did you do it? It wasn't my junk. Corey, she's asking you, did you look at child... Hey. Corey, I, she's asking, did you look at child... Telegram, yes or no? On Telegram? Mm hmm That it was sent to me, yes. Okay. That's what she's it trying to get. It was sent to me on Telegram. Okay. Okay, but if it was, was it sent by her? I didn't no. ask for it, it was sent to me through a channel because of the Facebook group I was on. So the Facebook group had it too, huh? The Telegram channel. Okay. Right, but basically on Facebook he would join these teen groups and try to hit up younger kids. And obviously we weren't the only ones he hit up. It was, she said 20 or something like that. And I think he does need help for it. So are you trying to tell me that he specifically talked to you? Well, that's what like we were outside undercover. doing. Cover, you were undercover, he specifically talked to you? So one out of 20, correct, yes. So the, of the other 19, I can't say who those were. Well, I but. don't care about any of them, but. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's a guy from Oklahoma City, a decoy. Okay. Oh. It is so hot. It's beyond hot. Me. So, oh, so, God, so, I'm sorry. You had me scared half to death. I called Kyle, and he's got a deputy coming. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Is, is he on the way right now, the deputy? Kyle's going to be here in just a minute. Um, what about the deputy? Yes. He's, okay. I don't know when. M man, is it cool if I just we just, like, put my phone inside here? It's so I hot. I would rather oh, you God. wait. No, sir, you well, need to so wait hot. until my management is here, and okay. we have someone that's got higher authority. Sure, He'll sure. be recording inside of our building. Oh, we can turn the cameras off. That's fine. Nope, I'm... Just politely going to ask sure. you to stay outside until Kyle gets here to handle this, as I do not have any authority to continue to manage this. So, uh, what exactly are you saying is going to happen to him? Well, basically, if there is a deputy on the way, I mean, what's the ETA on the deputy? We have no idea on any of this, but... Um, what was he called? That was not me who called mm -hmm. him, so I don't we know didn't call him. anything about any anyone besides the fact that Kyle is on his way because I was unsure of what was going on. Okay, okay. 
Well, we don't want to bother y'all with Corey, because um, obviously you guys had nothing to do with what he had done, but... Um, but yeah, no, it's just a long time coming, for sure. I mean, it's just been, uh, since high school, he's felt this way about some younger girls and all that, so... I'm sorry to bring this to you guys, I know. Obviously, that's not... What I wanted to do, I wanted to talk to him about it at his house 101, but, um, you know... It's an awareness thing at this point with what he's done. You know, we all care about kids. I completely understand. Okay, my thing no, is... Tiff, Tiff, you're, Tiff, you're fine? I'm going to have you. But I think it's super unprofessional it's not that good. somebody would go and talk to somebody else about what somebody else has done. Well, I mean, if that's your coworker, I think you should know. Sorry, Tiff. I'm, I'm sorry about that. They're filming for YouTube. We, we don't have a YouTube channel. We're filming for safety reasons, so you can be sure we didn't threaten anybody or break in or anything like that. I completely understand. Yeah. And I understand why you're here. And yeah. I've unfortunately been through situations like this before, mm -hmm. so I am just going to wait. Since, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, that's fair. This is... You safe, Corey? Are you... Corey, do you want physically... Can you come in? We're going to have... No offense to you. I'm going to have you wait outside just because... You guys have been in contact, and I don't know quite what's going on. It's fine. Kyle's going to be able to help sort this out. I just wanted to make sure that everyone was safe. Is Kyle like the manager? He is one of yeah. the uh, brothers who owns the Okay, location. okay, for so sure. So this will be something that we can manage from there. Mm -hmm. um, but for now, I'm just going to... Can somebody tight. bring me my drink? Yes, I was going to ask. Can you go get Corey's water, please? Yeah. She'll have an extra one too, you know. I know, I know y'all owe me nothing, but um. We'll look and see if we have something. I do understand. Thank you. Here. It's I like a hundred degrees. Genuinely don't know if we have anything going <laughs> on, but we have up the balance. Yeah, that's fair. That's no so worries. Kyle should be here, and we'll get this sorted out from there. Right. Um, just hang tight, Corey. She'll be right back with your drink. Okay, thank okay. you. I appreciate you owning up to it, man. I really do. I'm not saying this video is going to be seen by millions of people or any of that, but it's not. But if it was, I think their opinion of you would be a lot different than uh. I'm going to go on ahead and just relock the door because they are still here. Feel free to knock if you need something else to drink or uh, when Kyle gets here. Okay? You got it. Thank you, man. Corey, do you have your phone? Yep. Uh, okay. You can call me. What do they say? Wait on a call. I think they have someone on the way here already, but sure. that, that's what they claimed, but <laughs> this is like the worst state on earth. Got it. It's too hot. <laughs> Dude, do you think you can run to the gas station and get us some waters or something? Thanks. You want any, you want another drink, Corey? Just uh, get three waters. Get me a purple Gatorade. I'll, I'll send you some. Here, as a matter of fact, uh, my my wallet's in the car. Uh, the brown one. Use the red debit card. The 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 password is uh. You can meet the mic real quick. I'm muted. 
So, so is scoliosis like a lifelong thing you're born with, or is it a developed thing? Hereditary. Hereditary. Okay. So you have a pretty good posture. That you your like back, like back hurts all the time. Or? Okay. Oh, you're just torturing me with that water, Corey. Ready for winter. What's your favorite season? Summer or winter? Fall. Fall? Yeah. I'm with you on that, homie. I'm with you on that. So does you does your back hurt like when you stand up or okay. If you want to sit down, I mean, don't, don't even think I'm making you stand up. Know what I'm saying? So is there anybody you plan on telling the truth about this to, like in your family or? I was talking to a younger kid. I mean, I did tell the truth. No, 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 I know. But like, are you gonna like tell your, your ex and all that stuff, like? My ex, my ex-wife? Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna get help about it. Right. So she'd have to know, I mean, if I'm going to get help about it. Mm-hmm. So how do you think your son would handle this news? Because I mean, obviously he's old enough to comprehend this. Like, you know, he knows that it's wrong. I know that it's wrong. Okay. Gotta love the Arkansas cops, dude. Literally just. How long have you been working here for? Five years on and off. Okay. I thought you used to work at Starlink, Starlink or? Star Trek? Yeah. Boy, it's so hot, boy. And you're a 38 now? Look pretty young for 38. Great hair. Yeah, but, you know, the face looks young, though. And the mouth not so much. You should do meth? 
never touched it a day in my life. All right, what was the possession of the controlled substances you had? Weed. Weed. That's a controlled substance? Weed? Absolutely. In Arkansas? How'd your teeth get all Hereditary. Hereditary? Even you, did you even brush them as a kid or? My, dad, my dad's dad had dentures at 25 years old. Oh. You think you're gonna get dentures? I need them. Yeah. God, man, I've seen you drink that water. Now I know what a dog feels like when there's steak dangling above him. And I'm the dog, Corey. It's just ice. It ain't even water. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Is this, a, this thing being security camera footage, like right here? Okay. What, does it pick up audio too? Probably. Okay. Here, you can cut the camera off then, if that's being filmed. I just, I just wanted to. How's it going, man? There's a situation where basically, he, he's working through it, but he's been kind of messaging kids for a while online. And there's also, he's in groups on his phone right now that have child. I mean, is that right, Corey, pretty much? I didn't know it was even sent to me. It was sent to a telegram. But it's sitting on your wrap, the child. You know? Okay. It needs to be uninstalled off my phone. Okay. So it's, it's on his phone, like you said, on your body cam. And um, he's also been messaging who he believed to be an 11 year old that we were posing as. And a lot of other kids he's messaged to that we don't know about that he just said he did. And uh, yeah, I think the biggest thing is that. Uh, With intent. Just Yeah. I think the biggest thing is that he has child. What's the situation here? Um, uh, we just, we're not from here, and we just try to go talk to him about it wherever he was, and he just happened to be here, but we didn't like, I mean, we weren't hostile with them, they weren't hostile with us, but we just didn't uh, go in uninvited, and they didn't, uh, you know, they didn't kick us off or anything, we, they just said, just don't go in, so. But we have it all filmed, like, it's all, it was, it was peaceful with us, and all that. Uh, say you're out there, you got an ID on you at all? Uh, my core. Devil, you know, you missed a devil skate. They 
two single women just didn't hesitate to just move on. Right. No, they hate the police. Let me explain. So basically, we have a group that catches all my child. And I, I kind of overheard her, like, yeah, I went in, you know, packaged to Corey. Then we, I saw Corey, I'm like, hey, man, he's got these messages here. You want to go talk about it? And he agreed to, and we did let him know on camera that it was voluntary to talk to us. And I made it clear to him, like, you know, we're not forcing you to be here. Never do we say, if you don't talk about this, I'm going to call the cops or I'm going to tell your job. In fact, I said, uh, I'm not going to tell your job. But of course, we ended up saying, hey, man, he's kind of up to this stuff. But we didn't like blackmail him, extort him, take any money, anything like that. I have it all filmed, and um, basically, um, over the course of the, over the course of the conversation we had with him, he admitted to believing this was an 11 year old that he was doing all that type of stuff, trying to get pics from. And he's talked to, he said 19, give or take, like 20 minors, and you know, we, I think we were decoying two of them or whatever. The rest we wouldn't know about, like so. The rest were probably real kids. And he also said that on his phone right now, on tele, on this app called Telegram, there's currently child sitting on his Telegram app that he's received on there. And he also told her that as well. Um, right, that's where the, tele, the child is on Telegram, right? I got sent to my phone through Telegram. Yeah, I got sent to his phone through Telegram. It's sitting on his phone. And from what I understand, Telegram does auto-download on their phones. So, um, yeah, it's yeah, sitting on his phone. Yeah. He's in, he said he's in like, we said like probably just two or three child groups on Telegram. Yeah. Well, it's a channel that I got invited to. Okay, but that's where it's being sent, right? Yes. Okay. You got invited to a channel with child. And you just thought it was okay to go to that? I think joins it. Well, he did leave I it. I mean, did you know that's what it was? I, I saw the pictures and I had backed out of it. I haven't used. And that wasn't a red flag. Yeah. You said you so joined two or three of them. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna make a phone call. And he said he got it through a Facebook group, and the Facebook group, like, the way it works, they're on Facebook and Instagram, they can't send child to those apps, so they go to Telegram to do it, and that's obviously what happened there. They sent a link, and I clicked on a link, and it put me in a channel. But you said you were on two or three, not yeah. just one. I clicked another link, and it put me in so another So the first one wasn't a red flag. It wasn't like, oh, I shouldn't be doing this. She I didn't know they were all going to be that way. Yeah, just a lot of coincidence in that. I didn't know they were all going to be that way. I didn't know that's what all those links were. Yeah, yeah. Not every one of them. The first one I was, and when I clicked on it, I saw it, and I was like, oh, my God. I mean, I know it's not right. Obviously, I have kids of my own. I mean, my intentions have never been to meet anybody or anything like that. It's been a and I shouldn't have been doing it. It was a desperation thing. That's what I told him. So how did, what are y'all talking about? Sure. <coughs> Cut it.
are you doing folders? You know how to do it? Mm -hmm. It was like flashing like... What's up, guys? So consider joining our locals. If you like the fact that we cash creditors nationwide, it's not possible without you joining our locals. On locals, you get to see over 20 caches early, completely uncensored. You get to see live creditor confrontations as they happen. And you get to support the movement that has an arrest in 43 different states and convictions in 24. We do travel the most and cash the sickest. It's only $7 a month. You get more early content than Rumble. We do big content dumps every single month on locals. And can't do this without you guys. Consider joining locals.